misidentified sclerocarrier birria today is a source of great shame to me as the person, of course, who was initially responsible for your training. Um, in fact, I will probably go and flagellate myself when we get home. So there we have a Mwanza. Beautiful lizards that they are. He's nodding at how beautiful he is. Can you see that? What is he? Ch oh, it's a, there's another one. It's a female. So he's the male. The female has got what looks to be a grass stalk sticking out of her bottom. It isn't. That's her tail. And they are having an argument. Yes, you did say that. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. How fantastic. Let's just watch and see what they do. See if, uh, if he chases her as it gets a bit warmer. And just as Scott and Taylor have been struggling with the flies, as it gets a bit warmer here, so too we are struggling with the flies a little. He's obviously decided that she's not quite as irksome as she seemed, maybe. Hmm? Hang on. Fascinating. Now, these lizards are not the only ones on the rock here, are they, Seb? No, no. Full one. And the female, much more drab. I mean, they change colour as they go from little babies, I suppose. But they don't change colour as adults like chameleons might, I suppose. Gregory, you want to know if they're monogamous and faithful to each other? Do they pair for life? Gregory, I don't know much about the Mwanza. I don't think so. I think you'll find that, as you suggest, it is a seasonal mating uh, or breeding, and then, no, it'll be all over. Then they'll move on and, you know, go through the winter months alone, bereft, and then find another partner later on. 